the fact that I had to put on a hat because my hair is so freaking oily is just one of those hair days is the worst i need to wash my hair hair day that's what it is but um welcome hair back day. everybody let me know if you need to wash your hair today <laughs> welcome back let me know if you're on the same hair washing schedule as destiny yeah which is washing non-existent <laughs> it's just like whenever i feel like it really yeah also yeah I'm we're gonna address to the that. elephant in the room our Which matching one? t-shirts <laughs> okay yeah. we are matching we are we're delulu love we love being delusional so yes. destiny has got us these matching t-shirts to really emphasize on this especially on this episode because yeah. we're theming this around delusional and and i feel like in the romance genre we get delusional so that's our theme today no if you're into romance you have to be a little delusional. So I love the oh, yeah. Lulu shirts. Yeah, what about it? Imagine yeah, we just drop merch and this is it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not merch, but it should no. be because honestly, it's really on brand. Today's Aww, episode Sarah's is so all about love. Love. You love I have a everybody. Heart you love your friends. Wait, do you, mm-hmm. you want to know something I've been quoting? Do you, you listen to Brooke and Connor make a podcast, mm-hmm. right? You know yeah. the one with that's trending on TikTok right now where it's I like I have purse. I have purse. I I I I love him. <laughs> like he is so uh, funny. Like he uh-huh. I don't know what it is about Connor. He, and the He's like oh my top God. tier. I love him. This our podcast that we just continuously speak about other podcasts, but truly <laughs> um the episodes where he like dresses up in costumes and just commits to the bit mm-hmm. is like hilarious mm-hmm. to me. What do you wear the yeah, French but, one? And just kind of breathe the whole time. <laughs> the, I have purse. I say it all the time and no one knows I what I'm about. I have shoe. I have hat on head. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is the most unhinged. I'm feeling a little Welcome. unhinged right now. I don't know how the quality of this episode is going to be. Is it going to be painful me? Painful me? Painful me? Painful <laughs> me. Painful you? Painful me? Sorry, guys. Painful really, them? I'm really just coming off a high of winning the Super Bowl yesterday aren't we all literally aren't we all, aren't we all? it was crazy because are we are we about to get into the super bowl are we about to get into sports right now should we get into the super bowl over our drinks of the episode hello everybody and welcome back to bookmarked <laughs> we're going to be talking about our drinks of the episode i am sporting a cherry slush along with you that i have been drinking for god since 5 a.m this morning wow cheers brother I have officially have something that's not water. <gasps> I know. I got crazy. I went. Hold on, let me open it. Woo, I was going to break my nails. I know, it's so nice. I got Ooh, the boop, mini boop. ones. She's teeny tiny. Aww. An Olipop, my lemon lime. I love the mini ones. They just taste better. It's like one of those things, like we said last week, it just tastes better in a small. Yeah. And you know what's yeah. funny? I sent Destiny a picture when I <laughs> got food the other day. They. I haven't been somewhere that has the glass Coke bottles in so long, but they had it and I got one and they brought me over a cup with that good old crushed ice. I didn't even ask for it. And it was the perfect combo ever. And it was so weird because we just talked about it and I haven't had it in so long. It's because they listen to the pod. Mm Mm-hmm. He, yeah, t- literally us being delusional is like <laughs> so on brand today um yeah let's get into sports let's do it you know yeah, because that's what this everyone is, came here for no that's what i'd say we are certified professionals in our craft we do know what we're talking about when it comes to sports i am the ultimate mm-hmm. athletic you know person that people look up to so i know that people are on the edge of their seat of waiting for this so yeah when we're filming this yesterday was the super bowl um congrats to taylor's boyfriend and uh, anybody else that plays on the chiefs i don't really know other than patrick mahomes um <laughs> just kidding i know the whole entire roster and i could say it yeah i could definitely see the whole entire chiefs roster but um i don't know what anybody else does for the Super Bowl. I spent definitely majority of the game cooking and then I got to halftime and I was done cooking and then I went home and I drove an hour and Sarah was texting me while I was driving and I was like, oh my God, like I can't watch the game right now. What are you talking about? And then I was going like to giving overtime. live updates. <laughs> I got into my house when there was 20 seconds left of overtime. I sat on the couch and watched Patrick Mahomes run it down the middle and then he threw the game winning touchdown pass. Yeah. I'm so glad that you didn't miss out on the last because... I had it like in me before 
it went into overtime like i had like this i just like felt like they weren't gonna win so i was like okay i'm upset See, but I, I can i can get over it i knew I that they were gonna win oh i held out hope for sure and then i su- i don't really care i've never cared about the super bowl don't care anything when it got to overtime why was my heart racing the whole time <laughs> that's when no, i was like, like okay no but I'm I, nervous. It, mine was the same way me and my mom were sitting on the couch and i said this is why i don't watch sports is because my anxiety is already bad sitting on this couch right now yeah and trying to like just just stop just stop taking time out just go 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 just like yeah, do it because you can't do anything about it we're just <laughs> yeah. watchers we are just watchers at the end of the day unfortunately i did not make the nfl draft to the chiefs so i just get to watch <laughs> football um but yeah i mean the whole entire game was just you know not really a lot of back and forth now we, okay you guys don't care about the logistics of the game let's no. talk about the fun I stuff will, yeah i will say usher i'm gonna be honest i think he dropped the ball let's use a sports term i think he uh, other than bringing out little john and ludicrous i I don't (laughs) alicia keys was great too but i just that was not my favorite favorite song i think there's so many if he started with like yeah i don't know like yeah let me say it pitbull hey let me say it where was he (laughs) the facts that okay me too I, we, I, I was sat, was coming out i was sat I for the was. halftime show <laughs> and um but you know like i'll indulge in usher will say not a huge usher fan i like his songs are like if you're in the car and you're feeling like a little throwback or you're like feeling like mm-hmm. throwing it back either one <laughs> you might turn on some usher you know what i mean i yeah. wanted to break dance but he didn't open up with his break dance songs he opened up with yeah. freaking i forget what song he opened up with and i was like you're not opening it's, up with yeah yeah that's what i know that's like what i thought was gonna happen like it was gonna be like a high uh, intensity start like yeah yeah i guess yeah. he built up to it i guess but the fact that you brought out pretty much i would say like 80 percent of your like really big collaborations Collabs. and you didn't bring out pitbull or justin bieber everyone thought he was gonna be out there well because that's will... like justin bieber's song isn't it the one that they like have a collab on it's not I like just his song. somebody i don't know yeah no idea it is his song not, I... oh then that makes sense for him not to come out but not having pitbull when little john when little john okay let me not sound like that <laughs> when little john he was like in the like stadium obviously he's in the stadium jesus christ he was in the crowd and i was like yeah. is that little john and then mm-hmm. he's just you know going and being little john and then ludicrous pops up and i haven't seen him since 2006 maybe it's not on my wild card I, though i think that the roller skating was the most impressive part that was like <laughs> You should have Wild. seen the room's reaction when that band <laughs> came out on the rollerblade and started backflipping on roller skates. Mm-hmm. We were literally mm-hmm. all in all. Yeah, didn't expect Usher to like come out and roll- like that's like not what I expected. I think, but I think it's yeah. like every year with the Super Bowl, we always expect and like want this type of performance, and then they give it to us, and it's when it's not what we want, what songs we want, we're over here a little underwhelmed. I personally have never really loved a Super Bowl performance ever. I don't even remember anything before Rihanna and what was it, Eminem, the year before that? Like, who was before that? Um, the Weeknd was a terrible Super Bowl performance. Oh, my I gosh. Just, I still remember. In general, that. That don't like awful. The Weeknd. No, I don't yeah. like The Weeknd either. Um, hot take, but not really. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know anyone else that performed the Super Bowl. Oh, Shakira recently, and J-Lo didn't like that one either. Um, yeah, I don't even remember that one yeah just they, they have been very but, memorable <laughs> yeah to keep on the delusional track destiny sent me like w- one too many tiktoks of people <laughs> predicting like the, what happened during the super bowl but it would go it would start like so the chiefs would score this and then it would slide over and it'd be like and then the 49ers would do this and it would scroll over and it'd be like harry styles comes on the field one direction makes the pass or something then taylor swift comes out they all score one direction sings halftime <laughs> like it, it would go down that line and it was so funny <laughs> they were hilarious i kept on getting one of the other ones and this is like kind of niche is that the troublemakers somebody was like this is my dream <laughs> super bowl performance and it was the troublemakers it's perfect no joke i would that would be a great half hope wait 
who picks the halftime performers? Who are choosing these people? Um, let's well, get sometimes they offer good. artists and the artists turn it down. Like some artists just don't want to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, I loved Post when he sang in the beginning. Love him. I love Did Posty. Him? Yeah. Do you see all the after party stuff? Before we get into the after party yeah. stuff, can we talk about how yes, I am happy that the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But seeing the shots of the 49ers sitting on oh, the yeah, bench as the I confetti can't, I can't. falls. It, but it, no, I actually sobbed last year when Jason Kelsey did not win the Super Bowl. I sobbed my eyes out at home when he did it's not so win the Super sad. Bowl. And I it's was like... You get, you, you get clips of all the people winning and everyone like screaming, jumping, crying. And then it goes to that clip of just one player on the bench just going like this. And confetti everywhere well because uh, i was smile like, in sight it was a close game can you imagine like working all season and then getting to the super bowl mm-hmm. going into overtime and then losing at like oh, the last so second sad. it's like it was right there it was right there yeah it makes me that's probably, so that definitely sad. makes it feel worse yeah yeah i felt so bad with those clips of seeing them um but they made it to the super bowl that's a win that's itself. huge it's huge to even make it to the super bowl it is huge um but yeah the chiefs won chiefs Woo-hoo! great job everybody i think i don't know and um, most importantly taylor looked great she, she looked beautiful was stunning last night like she had some glow on her is it i don't know what it is i i also don't know what it is but she looked amazing like i was really like oh yeah, my she god stunning. yeah i like the pony like, I, mean, I think the pony was cute <laughs> Even just like her f- makeup was slaying. Yeah, Blake Lively it looked, looked great. gorgeous as always. And I love too. Ryan Reynolds her hair so was much. Beautiful. Yeah. They Did you read his Instagram post? On. Yeah, <laughs> he, said, he was like, "Has anybody seen my wife?" Commercial, <laughs> and has anyone seen my wife? <laughs> <laughs> he is a He's lucky so funny. man. I love both of them though. For sure, they're like perfect Me for too. each other. They're like my favorite. Ho- yeah. No, actually, no, they're my favorite Hollywood couple they're my favorite hollywood couple my favorite hollywood non-couple of course is jennifer aniston and adam sandler oh yeah i do love them as well i love, love that them. i loved that commercial too the uber eats commercial which i don't remember oh she was in it jennifer that yeah. one yeah with david schwimmer yeah. and I he was like didn't love the commercials this year the ones i saw i feel like i missed maybe some none of them ate. none of them like stand out you know Temu like, i feel like every year like you see them ten thousand commercials wh- i i i said i think it's <laughs> i was laughing that they, it kept coming on i was like why is there it keep coming on and i was like i like, they're <laughs> probably trying to tell everyone how to pronounce temu because i always said temu yeah. yeah and the whole time said temu. Temu. whatever it was but oh i've never God, seen like, commercials like repeat repeat itself it's expensive so i don't know how much temu mm-hmm. is making but obviously it's bank to have that many slots at the super bowl <laughs> but um for real so the Chiefs won, and the real party started happening after they won the Super Bowl. We I haven't were, been on TikTok today, so I don't oh know. Oh my God, Sarah, we're being fed. Capital no F, way. Capital E, capital D. Did you send D. me any? Listen, I think I sent you one. Listen, they're singing love story to each other. <gasps> they're singing love stories to each other. They are literally like Sarah. Let me see. I have them saved here. I'm going to start sending you them, like bulk sending. I, I can't watch. Right? I can't do this tonight or today. I can't do this. No, there are. There's so much. Like mine. <sighs> there's like her with Jason, and then like they're like mm-hmm. dancing in the club, and he has his like arms around her, and they're like dancing, and she's Stop. just like whatever. No, I've Sarah, we're being fed. So happy to see someone genuinely happy in my entire life. I think. Oh my god, it was like that's all I've been getting I'm on TikTok, go and it's consume just like different. all of this after. It is yeah. so good, and that's like the best part of the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, after the game, <laughs> when both her yeah. kisses on the the stand. Yeah, best oh, part. Oh <laughs> my god, no! So and literally, somebody posted like the whatever of her going like this, and then the shot of Travis like looking up. It was literally a Troy and Gabriella moment. Uh, I can't deal with it's the two hard of them. To breathe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like what you was happening? Do it. Um, I just I'm so sad the football is over because we don't get any more content of the two of them. Or honestly, yeah, R.I.P. But maybe he'll go to some airs tour shows now. I hope so. I hope not. I can't wait for the new pod episode from them. Not to bring Ugh. up another podcast when you're listening to this podcast, <laughs> but no. But we were definitely fed. 
with all we of the content. So I can't wait to go con- consume it all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, same. I'm so happy. So that was the anyway, Super Bowl. We had to let that one out. We had to talk about that one. Yeah. Had to let that one out. So now we can get on to our little Galentine's, Valentine's Day chats, everybody. Listen. If you don't have a Galentine's party, this is the one you're going to have. Even and though this today is kind of Valentine's a sad, Day, it's okay. Kind of a sad Valentine's Day. We didn't like throw up decorations or make you guys feel welcome, but all that matters is that there's love in the foundation here. <laughs> and that's all that matters. Exactly. So we asked you guys over on the Insta, and this is your podcast a reminder to be following the freaking Insta if you're not already, okay, baddies? Listen, this is where you get <laughs> notifications, posts, other things like that. I don't know. Go follow it and find out. I'm not going to just tell you. So. <laughs> We uh, exactly. went through and screenshotted a few. I don't know how many you screenshotted. I think you screenshotted more than me. So, um, <laughs> maybe like seven, I think. Oh. Well, I think we could start off with, for our book girlies, some general book recs for Valentine's Day, February. Because I feel like there's Valentine's Day, but I feel like the entire month is like a love month. So, yeah, we the could month of love, you. for sure. Yeah. I just recently read Picking Daisies on Sundays. The aura of the cover... And just the rom cominess of the book, I think, is great for Valentine's Day or just the season of love right now. Um, I'm going to say two off the top of my head. The Do-Over by Lynn Painter is literally a book about, it's like Groundhog's Day trope about Valentine's Day, as well as The mm-hmm. No-Show by Beth O'Leary. Also kind of, it doesn't take place on Valentine's Day, but Valentine's Day is kind of a big center part of it. But the book doesn't like take place on Valentine's Day, if that makes any sense. Um any Lynn Painter book, I feel like, is just super cute yeah, and adorable. Yeah, I say, probably any of her books. Yeah, like, especially better than the movies. Go read that one. Love that one. I also feel like any Allie Hazelwood, like, yes, adult that's what romances I was about to say. always give rom com energy. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Any mm-hmm. Abby Jimenez books as well. Those are very, like, rom com light, cute. That I feel like, because I feel like if you're you're just trying to pick up a nice little rom-com, I feel like those yeah. are like the perfect way to go. I'm trying to think of any other ones that I have that are giving rom-com energy. I feel like those are like most rom com I feel like other ones aren't, like when you think of like a rom-com movie, like in a book, I feel like I always think um, of Lynn Painter. If you like books with more spice in them, you can pick up a Tessa Bailey book because her books are very rom com but I feel like they're very spice oriented as well so if that floats your boat or whatever else you can pick up a tessa bailey book or maybe a lucy score one some i would say like by a thread those are a little bit more of like a spicy romance yeah yeah i feel like those are like the top first one is your favorite galentine's activity if you had a galentine's party with your girlfriends hmm I'm trying to think of like Valentine's Day. I saw on, on TikTok, like, like a few things you can kind of do, but like when you like paint stuff, like I saw one where these girls were like painting on tote bags, which was really cute. <gasps> oh, I do love that idea. And then there was another one where they, you, you get like just a normal candle and then you burn little ones in different colors around. You kind of dip into the, the wax and you can like paint with the wax and it hardens on your candle and it's so cute. I've always wanted to do that. Or, like, I've seen girls get, like, little wine glasses and just, like, paint on them. Yeah, I would say um, I've I've always really, yeah, I've always really wanted to do, like, one of those, like, go to a ceramic shop and paint, like, the mugs and then, like, Mm -hmm. you know, pick them up. Um, I would say a picnic if the weather's nice, like, a nice little, like, picnic going out and sitting out at a park somewhere. Um, Or even just, like, a brunch date, you know, like, I feel like that's good too i feel like those are like some you also just cute little activities watch a rom-com movie and make some oh heart movie shaped night 100 <laughs> percent bake a cake Get, yeah bake something movie night with snacks and goodies and like you know drinks or whatever that i feel like that would be cool yeah you could also i saw i've been seeing so many tiktoks girls just like you can go to like michael's or something and buy charms and little chains and make little charm bracelets oh, and necklaces yeah. and it's so cute put on a rom-com and make a charm necklace like that is such a yes. girl's night that is so cute and you, any day can be galentine's day spend it with your oh, gals yeah. um so that's just we love that hang out and spell for you guys along with that i had date ideas that you'd have not just for valentine's day i guess it could be in anything 
but fun date ideas. I think the picnic thing is cute. I love a good get your own stuff, put out a cute little blanket. Yeah. And have a picnic. I think that's, that's cute. cute. Um, or like, if you're of age, I loved to do the, I forgot what it's called around us. You get wine, you paint together, like one of those classes. Or even going to ceramics, same thing. Anything to do with your gals, you also can do with your significant other. Yeah. If they're down for it. Yeah. Or like a cute little, like going to the movies, I feel like is a staple. Yeah. I'm trying to look yeah. for the word. Um, that... Um, doing an activity that you guys like to do together, like maybe like pickleball, if it's nice. Yeah. Um, I feel like you can make or, anything really a date. Yeah, you can, a coffee date, right? Like you can make anything a date. A holiday, Valentine's snack. Do you like chocolate covered strawberries or chocolate covered pretzels? Strawberries, 100%, because I love strawberries. <laughs> I'd say pretzels. I don't like strawberries. <laughs> I love strawberries. One time when I was a kid, I got sick after eating chocolate covered pretzels and I've never been able to eat them ever again. Oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Anytime you like don't feel good after a food, like mm -hmm. it's over. Yeah. If you could only receive and express one love language for the rest of your life, which would it be? Like you have to receive and express the same one or you have to receive one and then express one? Um, I don't know. It just says if you could only receive and express one love language. I don't know if that means the same one or one. Yeah, or I don't know. One for each. I guess um, we could do one for each because I feel like they're definitely different receiving and giving. Yeah. Um, or we could just say what ours are. I feel like that would also make sense. Yeah, I feel like I know what my I know for sure what languages that I do for other people to show like mm -hmm. my love and appreciation for people I am a hundred percent acts of service and like gift giving to people like I love to sh I like that's how I show like my love for people mm -hmm. because I'm hey guys said it before not good at affection not good <sighs> at actually like telling people that I love and care for them so I try to show it instead of say yeah. it if you don't know what all five of them are, it's gifts, gift giving, acts of service, words of affirmation, physical touch, and what's the other one? Quality time. Quality time. Do you know what you like to receive or any? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like what sometimes it depends on like how i am that week <laughs> yeah that's what, it's like very it I just kind of depends on language. how i'm feeling yeah feeling i, I don't yeah. know i think my top one is quality time but other than that it just depends on what mood i'm in is <laughs> what kind of yeah. love i'd want yeah. to receive i would say never gift giving for res like for me receiving yeah. i'm just so it's bad about top. receiving things so i mm -hmm. never gift giving i guess i would say um weird enough it's like it's it's very opposite i would either say like words what is it words of affirmation is that what mm -hmm. it is words of affirmation yeah. or like acts of service not like doing stuff but more like doing tiny things to show that you like listen yeah because i have a fear that i talk so much and nobody ever like actually cares enough to listen so when somebody like shows like with little tiny things that they like listen to you that like goes a long way with me yeah those are my top two well no that's one of my top two quality time and acts of service but giving i also gift give that's one of my favorites i love you know it's like a small thing so i just love doing that probably that or i think i would say well, i don't know i'm not good with words either I would say quality time. I love spending time with people. So that's, I think those are my top. I don't think we answered the question, but those are our love languages. If you could live out any book romance, I'm assuming trope, which would you pick? If our relationships weren't the tropes that they were. I mean, what trope would we like? There's like, what are they? Friends to lovers, second chance. What are, what are some tropes? I don't know. I can't remember any tropes. Yeah, like I can't say enemies to lovers. I've, I don't know if I would <laughs> want to start my relationship with yeah, trying to kill each other. Yeah. Um, 
because I already have friends to lovers. Like that's already like my pipeline yeah. and my relationship. So I guess I would tweak it and I would say childhood friends because there's just always been something like so special, like growing up with somebody and then mm-hmm. like that shift and like uh that I assume that you feel after growing up with somebody, but then like you start to get older and you start to like realize mm-hmm. that you like have yeah, I would say childhood yeah. friends lovers. Yeah, I think I would choose that one too. Because I love that trope. You just know, you've known them for so many years. You know so much about them. Okay, one of them is like a little game, but the other one is like a topic we can talk about. And it says, it's okay to be single on Valentine's. And I think that's important to tell everyone and talk about how it's not a, a holiday for couples, it's a holiday for love. And you can love anyone. And it's a month of love. And. You can celebrate Valentine's Day with anyone, but yeah, if you're in a relationship, you're gonna spend it with someone you love. But it doesn't have to be a significant other. It's just a season of love, and you can really love anyone. So you shouldn't be upset if you don't have a significant other to celebrate with. Y- Even you can love so yourself. True. Yeah, I feel like society has put the idea that Valentine's Day, like you know, people call it like a Hallmark holiday that it just kind of seems like something that, you know, people have decided that they can make money on at the end of the day. So I wouldn't, like, fret too much about uh, Valentine's Day and focusing on, like, not having a Valentine or, like, you know, being in a relationship. And I understand that this sounds completely biased coming from two people who are sitting in a relationship. (laughs) But I genuinely, like, I was telling you this, like, I genuinely feel that if I was not in a relationship, I feel like I wouldn't really fret about it because like Sarah already said, like you can spend Valentine's day with like friends, family, your dog. Like you, like I feel like society's putting this idea of like, you should have a significant other. Listen, at the end of the day, make it a self love day to go dedicate it to a day or doing yeah. something that you really want to do that day and make it about yourself. Reclaim the holiday. Yeah. I feel like if I wasn't in a relationship, I would, make it make spend the day for myself and do things that yeah. i love to do and i would that's probably what how i would spend it mostly i was just valentine's day is just like just think of the aesthetics of it how cute are hearts and pink and teddy bears like it's it's flowers it's cute okay this last one is a little game and it's like that tiktok yeah fil- tiktok filter where say i have i done this i think with like Harry Styles song so like the filter will go it'll land on the song I have to rate it one through five and it has to stay on that rating and then another song will come and I have to put it somewhere one through five but I can't change my rating until we finish all five so we're gonna do these with book characters well we could do book boyfriends or couples or whoever you want to rank and I'm gonna give destiny names and she's gonna have to rank them and she cannot change her rankings once I give them to her okay should we do this a few times with different categories or should we just do it once? What do you want to do? Uh, we could do different categories. We could do maybe characters and then books. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let me think. We're going to go Kai from Powerless. <laughs> I'm going to put him at... Oh. Uh, I'm going to put him at three. Okay. I think three. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, next up, I'm going to say... Hmm, I'm trying to think of books that Sarah really likes. Um, I'm going to say Jax from Once Upon a Broken Heart. Hmm. He's going to go at... Four. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. Next, I'm gonna go. What's the guy's name? From is it? Uh, is it? It's not Jasper. Is it from from Power Powerless? Yeah, the Elsie Silver one. Yeah, yeah, Jasper. Jasper. I'm gonna oh. go with him. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh gosh. You're going to do me so dirty at the end. I'm going to put him at... Oh, no. I love 
love him. Okay. Ah, oh, <laughs> two. <laughs> no, you're okay. Gonna- <laughs> okay. Um, what have I done? Three so far. So I have two more left. Yeah. Okay. Two more. Easy. We're gonna go. So what did you say? You have two, three, and four filled up, right? Mm-hmm. So where's BJ I know who going? Give. I feel like I know who you're gonna give me last right now. I still After don't know BJ. who I'm gonna give you last. Oh, you don't? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> After reading this, I have to put him first. Okay. Once the dark really like changed lives, basically. Okay. Aw, so Dory's gonna have to go dead last. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't mean it. I didn't. <sighs> that one hurt. If I had to change it, I would put Jack's last. Dory at three and Jasper at four. Kai actually forgot everything I just said. Kai would be too. I don't know. Yeah, that you put him hard. number three. Yeah, that one hurt a little. Okay, your turn. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh gosh. Okay, who do I want to? I don't know who should I start with. This is How? so fun. I'm gonna start with. Um, I'll start with Gibbsy. Okay, I feel like he's easily number three. Okay. He fits in that spot. I love him. Okay. Um, then I'm going to say... Uh, let's do... Let's do Gus from b Gus from b Mm-hmm. I'll put him at five. Wow. Oh, okay. Um, let's do, <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go back to the series. Let's do Johnny. Johnny, I would do four. Okay. I love Johnny, but Gibbsy all around as a personality. Yeah, that's. I love him. Yeah. Okay. What about Rowan? Rowan? Mm-hmm. What I do? Two, three, four. Yeah, number two. King can go to the second spot. Okay, I, I, I guess we're gonna land with Reese. I feel like. It's <laughs> and listen, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do it. <laughs> Don't tell Dory I said any of that. Literally, Rowan already has a big enough mouth. He's already told him. Okay, what's the next one we're gonna do? A uh, book? Did we say books or book couples? Which one do you need to do? Oh, we could do maybe couples. For yeah, since so it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, let's do some book couples. Starting off strong. Um, let's do Dom and Allie from By a Thread. Aw. Uh, we'll put them at four. I thought I was thinking that you were going to do four or five for that one. Mm-hmm. Um, thinking through, thinking through. Um, let's do the couple from Love Redesigned. Oh, I love them. Um, oh, I can't switch anything. Okay, I'm going to put them at three. Okay, so we have three and four. I'm ready off to a bad start. Let's do Let's do Harriet and Wynn from Happy Place. Ugh. Two. Two? Yeah. Okay. Um next up, I'm trying to envision my bookshelves right now because I don't I don't have them on me. Um hmm. this isn't okay let's do no you don't really love that one this isn't canon this isn't canon but let's do Cassidy Nege the you idea know, of what they could be and with the crumbs that you have oh. 
I'm gonna. Oh no. Do I only have one and five left? Um, I think so. Yeah, I've said three. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm putting them in in five. Oh my god! Don't tell them either. Okay, I'm not telling them. So that means that Rose and Connor are gonna be your number <gasps> ones. Hell yeah! Mm-hmm, Yay! Mm-hmm. I love them. Superior, superior. They deserve to be number one. They do. They really do. Power couple right there. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to start with Cade and Willa. Cade and Willa. I'm going to give them number five. What's her name? Charlie and Nora from Book Lovers. Oh my god, sometimes I forget how much I love him. I'm gonna put <laughs> I'm gonna put them at Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put them at four. I'm gonna put them at four. Okay. Um Let's do Nate and Icebreaker Girl. I forgot her name too. I love him. I feel like we don't talk about him enough. Um Communication yeah. King. He like does not, yeah. not communicate. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm going to put them at number ate. three. He ate with the communication right. of that book, and he's very caring and kind. I agree. The Uber scene is traumatic, but we <laughs> pass it. Why is this harder than I thought? Okay, let's do Liz and Wes. Oh, Biden number two, movies. for sure. I love them so much. Okay. Well, wow, so I just really the- went five, four, three, two, four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to land on the same series, and... Lauren and Lily. Oh my god, I love them. They're my heart. Are you joking? There's a specific part of my heart, and I've I've said this forever, and if you're people who have known me for a while, I still say this. I would always look at my friends or like people who are like close to me and I went through anatomy one year in high school and learned all the different parts of the heart. So I would go and tell people like which part of my heart belonged to them so like are you the left ventricle Uh or the right ventricle are you the aorta are you this like and i would go and tell everybody that and they are definitely a ventricle in my heart that keeps it beating oh that is so sweet (laughs) i wish you could tell them that so bad no same like i just just dm the people on instagram that we (laughs) think i just hate that you can't you can't tell them that. I know. That so, was really fun. Um, no, I was going to say we can get into our end of episode fun time, fun thing, go through some responses of what we asked you guys over on the Insta. Um, I'm we down. We asked some fun questions. So we can start off with some book couples that you love. And I guess, should we name like five? Hey, we just we just did it. But I know. Now, I, well, I said we can't do anyone Magnolia Park or Jesse Hastings or Sarah J. Mass for these answers and yeah, i think I'm maybe try we to should reach do, outside the box yeah maybe we shouldn't we can't repeat what we just said jacob and is it brianna from yours truly love that yeah i think so yeah um summer and what's his face from the first book in the lc silver book oh Right. I love the couple from the Dance of Thieves duology. They ate mm-hmm. enemies to lovers in that book. I love I love them. I'm trying to think. I'm envisioning my bookshelves, guys. Going mm-hmm. through them one by one. Um, oh, Theo and Winter. I love a good redemption mm-hmm. arc. And Theo. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Book couples. I had them written down. I was looking at my notes, and apparently I deleted the note. So, no idea who I was talking about before. Let's see. I'm going to say Iris and Roman. I also really want to say Theo and Winter. Like, they were kind of just top two. And I also think they were underrated. Not underrated. What's the word? Underappreciated, I feel. They weren't talked about yeah, enough. But, oh, under like anticipate. Like I wasn't really anticipating yeah. Theo's book. And then he came and he ate like so hard. Okay. Those two. Let's see. Oh, what's her name? Kiva? Is it? What's the way I don't remember, but it's one of my five stars from the Prison Healer series. I loved them. Oh. Jaren? Is that his? I think that's his name. I loved them. 
Um, I'm trying not to repeat any that you said. <laughs> Why is this hard? I'm, no, we said that in the game. Okay. From the amount of books we read, why is it so hard to do this? Can I say a couple from Throne of Glass? I'm gonna say, you know, yeah. Dorian. Yeah. That's all. I'm, I love him. <laughs> I don't. Why is this so? Oh, I'll, maybe I'll do the ghosted couple, Kennedy I and was Jonathan. Literally waiting for you to say that. Like I was. Yeah. I thought because I'm looking at ghosted through the mirror right now, and I was like, I'm surprised she hasn't <laughs> said that. I love that book so much. I always forget that. I'm obsessed with it. Um, yeah, those are them. I'm going to rapid fire through some of these, and we're. I'm just going to rapid fire through them, and you're going to say yay or nay, okay? Okay. okay. Elliot and Macy. Yay. Yay. Okay. Brendan and Piper. <laughs> uh, do we like a meh? Meh. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll let a meh. meh. We'll let a meh. Okay. Um, Ravi and Pip. I say yay, personally. I really liked them. I didn't really care for them. Like, I, the romance wasn't really much for me, I feel like, in that series. But I'm not going to say nay, because it, they were cute. Yay. Olive and Adam. Yay. Yay. Yeah. January sure. and Gus. Yay. Yay. Um, Jude and Carden. Nay. Literally could not care less. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Um, hot take. Daisy and Romeo. Nay. I think I'm about to start talking instead of just saying yay or nay. I think that they give the same energy as BJ Magnolia, and if they had the same time together and Christian wasn't in the picture, I think I could have said yay. He annoys me. He nay. irritates me to no end. I don't know why. I really <laughs> I think don't like him. He's not supposed to be the love interest that he's just like. No one wants to root for him. But he's also they're also very toxic too. But. It doesn't matter if he's not the love interest because I fell for another couple that they absolutely had no shot of working out and I still fell so hard for them and I'm still really from true. it. Yeah, I'll say nay for them being together, but I don't hate his character. Um, Aaron and Juliet. Yay! yay. Every I say lifetime. yay. Even though I don't love those books, that romance does eat. He is so delusional king. The fact that it's literally <laughs> written in the series that like, she shot me in the leg, so that means that she's in love with me. Okay, real. Me. Okay, me. <laughs> yeah. And real. Um, blonde, batty realness really is what he's giving to the table. Um, <laughs> let's see. Finny and... <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm trying to find ones that we haven't talked about. What about... What's his name? I'm looking at the books right now. I already know what you're going to say. I just think it's funny. What's her name? Salem and Thayer. Is that the girl that was like actors? Literally, Sarah, please don't right now. <laughs> Absolutely not. Hey, no. Hey, I'm going to say it again for all of you guys in the back. No. <laughs> the bodyguard couple. No idea what Yeah, I can't are. remember what they're... Oh, oh my God. You said that and then I just saw Hannah and Jack from the bodyguard. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yay. I really like them. He was yay. giving Tom Holland to me for some unknown reason and I really loved him. <laughs> in my head, um, I pictured... Do you, you know cheaper by the dozen yes that character i don't have a description for him but that's who i picture <laughs> that character you know what i'm talking about i think i He's do like the older oh, i forgot his name oh my god clementine and ewan yeah hey mm -hmm. yes absolutely that's a huge yay literally life-changing what about normal people lol they can't even be a couple we can move on because we basically talked about all of these couples so everyone um what's um okay click the next story desk okay oh authors you love <laughs> top of brain emily henry abby jimenez um i really like i mean i all of except for chuck and may all of ali hazelwood's books have been a hit for me um yeah. ashley poston her mm -hmm. books have been a hit for me as well lauren asher elsie silver mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. they really came through last year i feel um yeah I'm, I'm gonna agree with all of those i feel like there's no other newer authors that i discovered lauren last roberts year. yeah um, i do also love carrie meniscalco 
shout out her Don't know the font. i was get, gonna bring that one up for the covers i um, want to read stalking jack the ripper this. um yay or nay again taylor jenkins okay. read <sighs> yay i would say yay i really like her books i feel like me now is probably a yay i feel like if i reread the ones i don't like i'd probably like them jennifer lynn barnes yay yay as well lynn painter yay um yeah sarah adams yay her books are just so short easy yeah yeah um christina lauren i don't know because i read love in other words mm-hmm. loved that book and then um i enjoyed the soulmate equation but i've tried to like read their other books and i just don't really like them yeah i've only read a few of their books and the other ones were not my favorites the only one i really loved was love in other words other ones were kind of it's kind of like hit or miss i feel like yeah i haven't read one of their Um, books in a while though mariana zapata i've read a lot of her books so i would say Mm. yay i i only read two and i didn't really love them so penelope douglas I don't think those are for me. Yeah, I wouldn't say that their books are for me either. Um, do do Frida McFadden. Eh. Yay. I've only I'll read two yay. of her books, The Housemaid, and then the second one that I read by her, I hated. So she's kind of one mm. for two right now. So it's 50 She's 50. just to get me out of a slump. If the book is bad, like, I can read them so quick. It makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Okay, I think that's about it. So on to the next story. We have book covers you love. Are there Mm -hmm. some off the top of your head that you're just like, I love those? The ones that I had written down before was my Divine Rivals Owl Crate one with the the purple flowers and the typewriter. I think it's so pretty. That one, Throne of the Fallen, but specifically the pink Barnes & Noble version. Yeah. And the picking daisies on sundays i think that one's just adorable and cutesy Um, i love yeah i agree i agree um the throne of the fallen i literally had to go buy it because i wanted that cover so bad um i would say done and dusted i freaking (gasps) love the art style of those Mm -hmm. covers so much it scratches an itch in my brain obviously i love all of emily henry's covers those also i love ali hazelwood's covers too but her new release that's going to come out doesn't fit the vibe for me for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. Well, that's what I love about Dun and Dusted is because it has the cartoon cover, but like in a cool way. It's like, in not like, like a the pop other kind art of cartoon. Way. Yeah, I love it. It's such like an interesting yeah. like way to do it. Um, I'm trying to think of other covers. On, uh, obviously, the UK editions of like the Once Upon a Broken Heart series are magnificent. Yeah. Um, I love Lynn Painter's young adult covers. I like the way that she does those. Um, yeah, those are the ones off the top of my head. So let's do yeah. yay or nay with book cover. Um, by a thread. It depends on what cover we're talking about. There's like multiple different covers for by a thread. I like the one with the dress hanger yeah. pink cover. I like that one. Is that the one we have? I think that's the one I have. I have both I of them. I have right the now. one with just the black the hanger with the black dress or the one that's like a bunch of hangers on the front i think it's cute yeah i think it's cute i think it matches the exact vibe of the book yeah so. um the ice wait like icebreaker wildfire i mean i just feel like those are cartoon covers i feel like that's just yeah, like i don't really have a i think they're cute though i i don't mind those covers i think they're yeah they're cute um we have the liz tom ford covers which is like the windy city series i actually really like those covers like uh yeah. mile high the right move i don't like those covers i like them because it encapsulates the city and like the vibe of what the book yeah. is going to be about yeah they definitely make sense um the I og magnolia parks covers yes absolutely yeah also, always um emily wilde I really, I really like the covers of those books yeah, a lot. I think that cover like stands out. It's really pretty. Yeah, I really like. I feel like it captures the essence of the book very, mm-hmm. very well. Um, My Dark Romeo. That that book cover is beautiful. 
book cover is stunning that's literally the reason i bought it <laughs> yeah that book though i tried to read it and literally could not um <laughs> that book is just pure entertainment <laughs> yeah funny you should ask i love the i forget is that lisa sussman that writes those books yeah um, her covers are really I, really really cute yeah i like her covers a lot the entangled with fey princess retellings oh i love those covers i think they're yeah, so I cute think they encapsulate the fairy tale vibe really well yeah they look cute together um, too the chestnut springs specifically mirror covers absolutely top tier love oh i those. love those ones those ones are my favorite i think versions of the covers thank you so much for that sarah and thank you guys so much for You're listening so to today's <laughs> episode of bookmarked we Yay! hope you guys had an amazing valentine's day and an amazing rest of the month we love you guys so much and happy, happy valentine's late valentine's day, day. So we love you guys tell us down below what you guys did on valentine's day and yeah just really whatever you want generally make sure you're subscribed make sure you're following the podcast instagram and all of the other oh. podcast things that you guys should be doing and we love you and we'll see you next time thank you for listening love you bye bye